and welcome back part I want to say 13 maybe 14 part 14 big news today big news in the homestead the home front the home court home field home town uh, we're gonna start the body okay we are done with the head for now excuse that noise so this come over here where we have we need to before we start on the body we need to do some clean up some spring cleaning if you will okay so I'm gonna close this collection it says mesh and I'm gonna type head so I know this is my head and then we got reference image front reference image side but because we're gonna use reference image for the bodies we need head front and then we need reference image head side now we are going to take from two tutorials. So far, we've really just been almost entirely inspired by the Niquang template, head template, anime head template. And uh, that particular artist does a great body, but some of the geography, geography, some of the geometry is Engon related. We have a lot of different influences, okay? There's loads of tutorials and we're pulling from all of them. You know, and, and one of the reasons that we do that is to show you that, you know, there's no one right way to do this. There's so many different ways to do this and it's which one is the most efficient and which one works for the thing that you're trying to work. And you can watch 10 different tutorials and pick and pull the best parts from each hangout. Okay, like we, we took the head from the Niquang template. We're gonna use some of Niquang's, and I honestly, I hope I'm saying that name right. If I'm not, please, someone correct me in the comments, please, and thank you. Uh, we're gonna take from two or three different tutorials on how to build bodies. Uh, Niquang is one of them. Uh, there's also a great uh, 3D modeler named Dicko. Uh, that's Handle, you know, it's call sign, like Maverick, Goose, Iceman, or Jester. Uh, this particular artist's name is Dicko, and I'm a link to that channel and that tutorial as well. Uh, again, you know, I'm going to walk through it at a snail's pace because this is designed for somebody, you know, this is designed for the absolute, absolute beginner, beginner, beginners. And look, if you can follow them, if you want to move at a brisker pace, jump over to that channel, okay? And the guy's got some great characters character modeling texture rigging whole nine okay so we're going to parlay two different tutorials and amalgamate um, and pull the parts that work for us to build our uh, character so links to both of those artists and their work in this description first order of business Second order of business is it is nighttime in my part of the world right now. So I had to get some cafe. I wanted to I wanted to film today, but I could not. They were doing construction outside on campus. I don't know what they're building. Um, it looks like a gymnasium, but it could be an observatory. An observatory would be so cool. I would love an observatory on campus. Um, so it is nighttime. When the coffee wears off, you're probably going to hear a yawn. Even saying yawn makes you want to. Shoot. I think that's wild. That just saying the word yawn makes you want to yawn. Uh, second order business. The Ni Kuang tutorial uses a reference image from animeoutline.com, which is where we got our reference image for the head that we built. And we're not going to use that reference image. If you want to, go right ahead. That reference image looks like this. And it's a, it's just a super basic anime female form. And that's cool. If you want to use that, run with that. Um, I am building a Japanese goddess. So uh, we want ours to be a little more stylized. Um, if you want to use this, go right ahead. Um, that's at animeoutline.com. Um, but the one that we're going to be using here first, I'm going to switch over and back into the scene. And I'm going to hide our head, you guys. Okay. There we go. The head is hidden. And let me bring our cursor. And we're going to do the exact same thing 
that we did in the beginning. There we go, Shift S, cursor to world origin. There we go. Again, if you want to use this reference image, go ahead. This is from AnimeOutline.com, and it's the one that Ni Kuang uses in the Ni Kuang tutorial. It is not the one we're going to use in ours. I made one for ours. Uh, Shift A, image, background. Here's the reference, and this is what we're going to be using for reference. Okay, uh, now we're going to have to be grown-ups here. We are dealing with the human form, the female figure. Look, you're an artist, okay? Artists draw the human form, uh, and we have for thousands of years, so get used to it. Come on, let me set the location, get this kind of center mass, okay? Now, I want, so I, I sketched this, okay? And this is for everyone. My, my, look, we've, we've talked about this forever, man, okay? My core philosophy is open open education open source open resources open 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 i just want i want to give everything away however assistant dean words um is is being a little bitch and won't let that happen uh, obviously for all olympia tech students this image is technically considered a class resource um, to which you have access which is awesome so olympia tech students you're covered you can use this reference image uh, right and royalty free, free charge, go just do whatever you need to do with it, and it's yours. Uh, if you're watching this on the information superhighway, known as the interwebs, you do not have access to this, um, which sucks. You can buy the Patreon, and that unlocks it. And uh, Words is adamant about that, and I looked him uh, right in the eye and called him a son of a bitch. And I stand by that. Um, and the compromise was that it's going to be uh, cheaper than a cup of coffee. So I think it's like four American dollars, I think. Uh, maybe five. I don't fucking know. Or if you're a pirate, now I'm not telling you to do this. And I don't condone it. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. But there's nothing stopping you from taking a screenshot and then importing your screenshot. Okay just to keep the ball ball rolling to keep it moving right here if you want to support the channel if you want to pay to have legal access to this go ahead um, that's a that's a corporate bureaucratic mandate from the administration uh, with whom I passionately adamantly vehemently disagree but also if you don't want to do that and you fly the skull and crossbones on your ship and just take a freaking screenshot and let's keep this moving, okay? So I'm going to assume, A, you are an Olympia Tech student and have access to this. Two, you have contributed to the Patreon and bought access to this. Or D, you have taken a screenshot of this and uploaded it, and now we're all good to go. We all, we're all playing the same game? We're all on the same page? Awesome, okay. High five, let's get at it. So we are going to bring this up on the G-axis. And I, I, if you can see this, yeah, you can see, see I gave you some, uh, some lines right here, okay? So this is what we're gonna use to kind of mark where we need to be, all right? Just like that. And is she center? No, not really. Air for empty, let me do... Um, reference image body okay we're gonna save our work because that's just how we do y'all it's just how we do it i'm gonna put this with this collection up here keep all of our reference images together again just just tidy just keep it clean y'all keep it clean okay i'm gonna bring this over on the x-axis g to grab x to move on the x-axis i want this to be about like as halfway as possible okay like halfway between the waist Halfway between the belly button, halfway between uh, the, the breast up there, and that hip line. Yeah, that's good. Okay. How oh, is that right there? I almost wonder if we should flip it and do this side. Almost wonder. Put 
not quite. Nah, that'll be okay. Okay, so this is front view. Now we're going to shift D to duplicate, rotate it on the Z axis 90 degrees. Enter that, okay? Um, now we also want to make this so that it disappears when we move, okay? And we do that checking this transparency, okay? So when we check transparency, if we move off of front view, we don't have it anymore. But when we hit numpad one, there it is. So we're gonna kick over into numpad three, side view. And there's our side view model. Let's select this and move it. And now we're gonna move this green arrow. You see green, green Y, green, green Y. We're gonna move it along the Y axis like so. And we'll probably gonna bring this back when we start to, but this is fine for now, okay? Okay, so that's that. There's our front view, numpad one, front view, numpad three, side view. Uh, let's make this, let's turn this transparency on. So we turn out of that and we lose it. One, three, cool. Um, here, you know what, let's push this back to, so you can see what I'm doing, right? So this is, okay? So we can work in this space here and here, okay? Now, we also want to have a back view, okay? We really wanna be able to see the back side of our model. We're gonna have to work that too. And to get to the back side, you hit Control-1, and you see here, we got back orthographic. Okay, so now, now that we know how to get to the back orthographic view, first we're going to shift D duplicate and then rotate it along the Z axis 180 degrees like that. Now let's hit control one, jump into back orthographic and here we go. Okay, and let's align this up. Let's move it along the X axis that and there's our glutes back of the leg hamstring kneecap calf Achilles heel and foot now you might you might have noticed if you notice these things that the arms and the hand really aren't that detailed it's like what are, what are we doing with that well um, again I said in the beginning that we were gonna take from a handful of different tutorials and I meant that in every step of the word. So we're gonna use three different tutorials to build this body out. We're going to use Dicko's geometry because it is spectacular geometry. We're gonna use Ni Kuang's style because it is the style in anime. And there's also a great character, a Blender character modeler named Daniel Kreuter, either Kreuter or Crowder, I don't know, um, has a handful of great, great tutorials. Um, I'm going to link to those as well. And all of his reference images are freely available online for anyone to use. And he has a really, really uh, nice, um, elegant, simple hand and arm. And we're going to build the arm out separately. So we're, we're going to take care of the trunk, the, the torso, uh, the legs, the foot. We can, we can deal with all of that here. And then when it comes time to the arm, we're going to create the arm. Um, and then the hand is its own thing as well. And uh, the, the hand is really why we're not going to use Ni Kuang's uh, tutorial. Because there, there's a handful of... <laughs> you did not handful talking about the... There are several um, areas on Ni's hand uh, that has triangles. Um, and we don't want triangle geometry. It just... It just 
just wonky things can happen when we try to animate and when we try to put these into you know game engines um, and rig them and move them if it's not if you don't take care of the geometry up front you're just it's you're just giving yourself a headache man and i mean that and it's just it's no fun so we're really going to go out of our way to take care of all of that up front as quickly as possible you know i think i want to i think i want to reverse these sides are we in front view right here just staring at this let me do rotate z 180. Yeah, yeah, I like that. I like that better. Uh, this just feels a little uh, too spacey because remember, we're going to put a mirror modifier on there. So if this is too, th that hip area is just a little too far open times two. It's not quite symmetrical in the hip area. Um, okay, all right. That looks good if I do say so. My damn self, and we got reference lines okay so we are ready to start modeling the body we have numpad one front view good to go we have side view good to go we have back ortho not good to go oh do you see what we did there do you see what we did there Okay, let's just, this is, well, here we go. We are in front view, so this is body front. Yeah, this is why you do your spring cleaning. Here we go, and then numpad three, not there. Here we go, perfect. Body side, and then control one to go back view should be here okay so we clearly have some issue both okay front and then perfect and then this is should be body back okay and if you, I don't know if you saw, when I, that was really just troubleshooting right there. I mean, the depth and the side, you might have one of these just selected by default. And you can see both of them in front view and back view. You're going to have to change these around. Um, play around with it and go slow and you'll figure it out. So this is back side. Let's move this. Nope, oh, that's exactly where it needs to be. So back side, looking good front side looking good side view looking good okay we are ready to begin so in the next video we're going to start modeling the body you uh you're good to go olympia tech students you have access to this um people on the uh, interwebs you can buy uh, legal access to this you can buy the right to use this or honestly just find your own reference image if it's that big of a deal, and if you don't want to be a pirate, just find your own reference image. You can use the one from AnimeOutline.com. Go on Pinterest, draw your own, use a photograph. Like, you know, go ahead. It's fine. Do whatever you need to do. Um, or if you want to use this one to model what we're modeling in this tutorial, have it look, you know, one for one. Um, but you don't want to pay for it, and you're not a student at Olympia Tech, then just, I mean, sail the seven seas, man and pirate, just pirate that shit baby it's i i didn't i i'm not gonna say to, that you should pirate that shit but i'm also not saying not to so just because i don't condone it doesn't mean i don't understand right and assistant dean words if you're listening to, you're not listening to this you don't listen to anybody oh man administrative bullshit um okay 
All right, that's that's enough. That's enough talking. And in the next video, we are going to start modeling. I'll see you then.